some of the more important aspects of the anterior triangle of the neck, including its boundaries, some important vessels, and a bone? Yes. Great. Stuff. Okay. Okay. So, the anterior triangle of the neck. Should I have shaved? Yes. Sorry. Has borders, okay? The posterior border is a very long muscle called the sternocleidomastoid. It comes down and inserts on the clavicle and also on the sternum. Okay, so that's the clavicle, that's the sternum, all the way up there. Okay. I feel like a smurf. Great muscle. Okay, the anterior border is actually just the midline of the neck. So if I draw from here straight down. Beautiful. And the, the top um, border is actually the mandible, so straight across here. Okay. There we are, the borders um, or boundaries of the anterior uh, triangle of the neck. <laughs> okay. Um, one important thing we should point out now is a bone that's in the neck. And You're doing it, a different colour then. You're doing a different colour. No, I'm doing it in the same colour. Mm. It's the hyoid bone, okay? Which, Dr. Wells will show you there. This bone here. Got it? Great. Which is just about there. Let's say. Um, and then here in this area directly below, we have the laryngeal cartilages as well, okay? They're also in the anterior triangle of the neck. Good. Okay, so now we're going to have a look at some of the important blood vessels in this um, triangle of the neck. And what we're going to look at is the carotids, okay? So the carotid, the common carotid artery, is coming up here. No, oh, not quite. But um, it's actually coming up and it's underneath the sternocleidomastoid. The sternocleidomastoid muscle protects this very important artery, so it's quite deep. It actually comes up and it splits, okay, so it splits within the, this, this triangle of the neck into the internal carotid and the external carotid. And the difference between these two is the internal doesn't have any branches and the carotid artery has a lot of branches. Okay. bring to your attention that following the path of the carotid, we've got the internal jugulars, which are a little bit lateral and superficial to the carotids. Okay. Right. Another structure that's important in this anterior triangle of the neck is a gland. It's called the thyroid gland. Okay. And it's positioned conveniently there. Um, on the thyroid cartilage, either side of the thyroid cartilage, which is here, or your Adam's apple. Okay. So it, it has a large... Thyroid actually means shield oh, in Greek. So it's both God. sides, ooh, and um, has an isthmus in the middle, which crosses over, okay? So this is quite a large, ooh. Oh, it's trembling. Oh, my, so red and, red and green and blue. What the hell colour is that making? And, well, actually, it gets its blood supply partly from um, the external carotid and partly from the subclavian <laughs> as well, okay? <laughs> Okay, so finally we're going to look at some of the important nerves in this area. Um, one of the most important is the vagus, cranial nerve 10, and actually runs um, in the carotid sheath, so with the carotid artery in the jugular vein. Okay, right down here. Okay, other important ones, we've got glossopharyngeal, hypoglossal, okay, they kind of just come around out of there. Um, and then we've also got the spinal accessory, which we saw, which comes sort of back around there. Um, you've also got the facial, so that one's going to come more. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh Sam, you got red on you. Thanks. That's okay, thank you.